There's a one in six billion chance you'll find your soulmate. And that's if they're not dead. <laughs> At best, they're probably living in some Siberian ice cave, eating bugs and weaving beads into their back hair. <laughs> but they're out there. Uh. My dad believed that to find your perfect soulmate first, you had to look through a bunch of other guys' soulmates. I've never felt this way before. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Hello? Hold on. Are you Susan? I found my soulmate, Erin Fitzpatrick. And I didn't have to go to Siberia to get her. I did have to dress up in a pirate outfit just to get close to her. Well, we were the Sea Cliff High Pirates. And I, I jumped the real mascot, locked him in the trunk of my car, and stole his leg. <laughs> it was all for love, matey. <laughs> he was easy to sneak up on. <laughs> I'd like to really swab your poop deck. <laughs> nice hook. Yeah, and I want you to know that you are the treasure in my chest. <laughs> there are rules to finding the perfect mate. Teachers can't date their students, lawyers can't date their clients, and my dad can't bone Tommy's mom. <laughs> Tommy, stop this. I'm just gonna kill him, so go on the backyard and start digging a hole. <laughs> you are never gonna date my mother again, you black-hearted demon from hell. You better learn to call me daddy. Ah. <laughs> All right, Tommy, I get this. I remember the first time I pulled a knife on my dad. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> dad, you got this? I got it. Okay. <laughs> and that's what happened the first time I pulled a knife on my dad. <laughs> Okay, Dad, just give me the knife. Do I have to? Well, there's a lot of witnesses. No. Uh, <laughs> He's sleeping with my mom. Oh, your gay dad slept with her. I'm making sweet love to her. <laughs> sweet, sweet love. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm gonna kill him with no, my no, own no, bare no, hands. No, 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 Dad, Dad, uh, another person wants to kill you. You know, maybe it's you. Yeah. <laughs> you better calm him down. I don't want to kill Faye's only child on our third date. Sex after three dates? Your dad made my mom a slut. <laughs> Tommy, if I was married to a gay man for 30 years, I'd have a mattress tied to my back and I'd be... You'd be what? <laughs> what exactly would you be? I, I'd be going, hey, do I have something on my back? Uh -huh. <laughs> I blame you for this. How could you let this happen? You had all those opportunities over the years to kill him and you didn't do it. <laughs> I'm only one man. <laughs> Tommy's pain always turns into my pain. It's the downside of being friends with a needy, emotional sponge. Why am I friends with Tommy? Because I'm a codependent control freak. <laughs> Next week, Dave. I gotta be in choir. Gigi, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you were robbed. <laughs> Tommy, just come on, relax, man. No. Everything is gonna be okay. And I know that you really don't want to kill my father. <laughs> All right, he seems to be clean. Yeah? Hang on. Brass knuckles? Huh? Well, I'm not gonna dig around in his pants. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm overreacting, but your dad has destroyed so many women and my mom has been through so much. Tommy, calm down. This thing between your mom and my dad is not gonna last very long. I know my dad. He's just doing the old bone and go. Oh. <laughs> Honey, stop making him feel better, okay? <laughs> it is not gonna happen to my mother. Uh, oh, Tom, Tom. All right, Mr. Titus, let's go. You and me. <laughs> All right, they're gone. I could have told you that. Oh. <laughs> Mom, you cannot go out with this man. He is a drunk, homophobic, misogynist. He has slept with the whole neighborhood. Smith Avenue is Ken's booty buffet. That's not true. No matter how drunk he got, 
He never touched old lady Bingham. She broke her own pelvis. <laughs> oh, Tommy, so what if Ken has lived a little bit? Mm. He's always been a gentleman to me. And there's a whole side to him that you don't even know. Ken, play me the song. Hmm? What? <laughs> play you the song? <laughs> like my dad's gonna play the piano? <laughs> hey, hey I, I, I really don't Ken. Don't... All right. Oh, really, Dad? What finger are you gonna use? Dun 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 Fame, a name or a poem. Fame, a reason to come home. Fame, a smile I never knew. My life was empty till the day I met Faye. Dad? I know. I should have told you that I was in love with Faye. And that you were learning the freaking piano! <laughs> dad, me and you, in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I caught my dad doing something odd, I had to track him down. And he swore me to secrecy. And I swore I would never tell another soul about what I saw. But I didn't swear that I wouldn't sing it. My dad made a friend at the zoo one day. Hey, sweet buddy, I missed you. Did you miss me? Oh, who's a good goat? Whoa. My dad is friends with a goat. Not a word. I understand. I myself am friends with the pig. <laughs> 30 years I've felt something for Faye, but her husband was always in the picture. But now I got a shot, since he's decided he likes the man butt. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Dad, you can't do this to Tommy's mom, so I'm gonna help you out. Ah, Bingham, Gertrude Bingham, that's right. 93 years young, pure dynamite on one leg, call her. What? Christopher, your father. Uh, I don't know how to say this. He wrote Faye a poem. <laughs> you beautiful man! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Faye makes every man gay. <laughs> Christopher, read it. It's called... Faye! <laughs> For him, a night of romantic dancing involves tassels and a pitcher of milk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> dotted all your eyes with little hearts? <laughs> she is my Erin. What? Faye, she's my you. Really? That is so sweet. <laughs> Man, Christopher, you never wrote me a poem. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, your eyes sparkle like the chrome bumper of a 56 Chevy 210. Oh, wait a 57 Chevy oh, no, 210. <laughs> Dad needs love to become the father everyone's always wanted. And what father has everyone always wanted? The ones created by 1950s television writers. <laughs> oh, the best dads are totally made up. <laughs> and now, life is swell. <laughs> Scrapper today. Well, except for you having my nose, things are great. <laughs> Can I borrow the car tonight? Oh, not tonight, son. Tonight, your mother and I are taking you to church. Go put on your good tie, honey. Uh, oh, right. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. <laughs> it's the first, my little, little 
little hot rod boy, everybody. Christopher's my little, little hot rod boy. I'm his little hot rod boy. <laughs> oh my God, I have a song. I have a song. <laughs> Dad, I can't believe you. My God, you rhymed carburetor. Well, it's not that hard that you've got teeth like an alligator. <laughs> you stole my life. No, Tommy. I didn't steal your life. I made it worthwhile, huh? You're my little hot rod stepbrother. Hello? Perry. Mr. Shafter. Dad? Homo. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to get you back. I am sorry for everything. I demand that our love be replanted and grow beneath the sunshine of our sweetness. Oh, Perry. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Ha! My gay dad has returned. He's got a bag full of seas and a pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> Sing that! <laughs> I'm glad I found you got your message, man. So Tommy's mom is dating dad? Does Perry know? Dude, he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> hey, Perry. <laughs> is that an old message? Yeah. <laughs> I've missed you, Faye. I want you back. Hey, 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 no offense, Perry, but you made your bed and there's a guy in it. <laughs> yeah, Perry, you can't turn gay on and off. You're not a drunk sorority girl. <laughs> Shouldn't you be out there dancing with the construction worker, the cop, and the Indian? <laughs> I hate it out there. It's terrible being gay. But it's the best time in history to be gay. <laughs> well, 2,000 years ago, all the clothes were loose and flappy. Now they have jeans. You couldn't see a butt this fine through a toga. Who dog it? <laughs> I finally made the bold move of coming out, and nobody cares. Can you stop talking like that? You are a catch. Hey, you know where you should go? You should go to the Rusty Can. It's gay on Thursdays. I, I dropped Dave off there a couple times. <laughs> what? I, I, I barked in there on Thursdays for extra cash. <laughs> you wear a tank top and some bike shorts, you can make 400 bucks a night. <laughs> You had 30 years to make this woman happy, and all you did was stretch out her pantyhose. There is no place for you here. I am her husband and his father, and I miss them. That is all that matters. I want us to be a family again. Oh, and I missed you, too. Our conversations, our friendship, the cuddling, game night, movie night, fondue night. Did you ever have sex night? <laughs> Once. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think Perry and I need to talk. I'm sorry, Ken. First, Perry and I need to talk. You and me outside. Okay, fine. You want a piece of this? Oh, you don't want none of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. You want me to kick your ass? I'll kick your ass. Hepatitis. Get ready for some fruit salad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you bring it. I will make you my bitch. <laughs> There's gonna be three hits. Me hitting you, you hitting the floor, then you hitting on the paramedic. Oh. <laughs> okay, can't stop it. This is my living room, and that's my husband. Zip it, woman. Uh, <laughs> what did you just say to me? This is Zip it, woman. <laughs> it's a song he's working on. <laughs> I, I personally prefer Zip it, Faye. <laughs> Dead kitchen. Nope. Well, I might have to tell him about the. Oh, I, I... <laughs> And now, all the times my father has cared deeply about a woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was all the times my father has cared deeply about a woman. Nice, Dad. Nothing makes a woman feel more loved than zip it. Maybe you date a couple more weeks and get to shut your pie hole. Perry got me all fired up. Dad, can you imagine what would happen if I told Aaron to zip it? Well, what do you do when you want her to shut her pie hole? I just tune her out, you know? I just go, I go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then she says, you're not listening to me, so I'm gonna stop talking. Done. Christopher? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I won't be doing that anymore. <laughs> I... <laughs> I can help Dad now. Mm. Dad, look, you, you know how to get a woman, but you don't know how to keep a woman. Yes, tell 
us, Christopher. How do you keep a woman? Uh, well, number one, you always look over your shoulder before you tell someone else how you trick your woman. <laughs> Papa Titus, love is like a river. You just have to open up your heart and let the river of love flow. Did you learn that from the unicorn that lives under the rainbow? Erin <laughs> got her notion of romantic love from greeting cards, sappy posters, and tiny fuzzy-haired trolls. Not the toys. Her parents. <laughs> So, Mom, when you and Dad met, how did you know that you were meant for each other? Well, this shirt's still wrinkled. Well, let me get that for you, sweetie. <laughs> we just knew. This poem, this poem is... Well, give me my poem. You wrote this? Yeah. You beautiful man! <laughs> you know, but... Just, what are you waiting? Just go out there and tell her that you love her. All right, I am going to go out there and beat the crap out of Perry. No, Tommy. Dad, no. Dave, he's got something coming. Oh. <laughs> this is part of your problem, Dad. I just can't lie to Faye about who I am. He can't lie to her. Hon, he's got to go out there and show her that he's got a bigger heart than Perry. He has to show Faye that he is a, a warm, caring, loving human being. Lying works. <laughs> go out there, Dad, and and be a better man than you really are. Be a better man. I can probably fake that. <laughs> I know that you can. Until I was 16, you had me believe in you were a fireman. <laughs> he always smelled like smoke. <laughs> Faye, this is how it's gonna be. Dad. Hmm? Meh. Hey, Faye, I just want you to be happy and if living with Perry instead of me makes you happy, then I just want you to know I respect that and I support your decision. Oh, you have such a big heart, Ken. What a beautiful man. I'm gonna stay with Perry. I'm gonna freaking kill him! Oh, yeah? yeah then I'm gonna freaking kill you! Yeah! What happened to the man who wrote this poem? <laughs> Titus, she has made her decision. She is staying with my dad. But he'd be living a lie. There's nothing wrong with living a lie. I lived a lie for 30 years. I want my lie back. Yeah, well, you can't have your lie back because it's my dad's now. Mm. No, no, my dad will be better for her. He will take her shopping. He will bake her fresh pumpkin pies. He will go with her to get her colors done. My dad will be her friend, her companion, and her confidant. Your dad has nothing, nothing on my dad. My dad will do her till she turns blue. <laughs> Blue's a great color for her. Dad. I do, I do like blue. Huh? <laughs> Keep them both. Well, that's what I would do. I'd sex him up and I'd do chick stuff with him. <laughs> Dave. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait. That, yeah, that's great, great. Yeah, Barry, Barry can move back in because I, I'm, I miss spending time with him. And I can date Ken because I miss turning blue. Yeah, th that, that way I don't have to jump head first into gay. This'll be like my gay halfway house. <laughs> okay, you know what? My dad is not gonna get involved in some freaky three-way with you sickos. Come on, Dad. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have to write any more songs. I don't have to steal any more poems off the internet. All I have to do is have sex and drink? Yes. Why haven't I done this all my life? You did, Dad, five times. Yeah. But they weren't in on it. Well, this might be a horribly destructive, dangerous way to live, but hey, if it makes you happy, I can't condone this. I'm going to wait in the car. You know, you know something? She's right. You people make me sick. That's it. I'm going to dinner. <laughs> the rusty can? Hmm. Yeah, if I dance, I get half off. <laughs> you see that? Pure integrity. He knows who he is. I don't know who he is. <laughs> but you, Dad, 
What is this? Using some poor, effeminate manservant, huh? To, to what, iron your clothes, cook your food, tell me get my jacket. You'll be, you'll be doing your laundry while you're doing his wife. Well, all I have to say is shame. Shame on the three of you. <laughs> S-H-A-M-E, three times. <laughs> Let's go, Tommy. I'll, you know, zip up, it's chilly out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> There's a one in six billion chance you're gonna find your soulmate, but maybe your perfect soulmate is actually three or four half-perfect people. How far are you willing to go to actually find that perfect somebody? Zzz. Because, hey, if you're not willing to make a group of people your soulmate, well, then you better plan on being alone. You'll always have television. And now we return to Life is Swell. Uh, you sure were great last night, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you two worked up quite an appetite. Well, she's a hottie. So are you. Oh! <laughs> I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.